Hello everyone. We thought we'd start off our advisory meeting with a tour of the veterinary science program and the spaces we have here at the Natural Science Center. I should start off by saying hello and I am Mrs. Martin. And I'm Mrs. Brown. So um, we want to make sure that we um, keep going with our advisory committee meetings even though we're in a pandemic. Uh, we thought a video might be a good way to show you guys our spaces, the curriculum, and how we are using it in a hybrid mode, and uh, the future for the Natural Science Center. All right, and we're going to start. Um, so we'll just go ahead and start out here, um, one of our turnout spaces. Uh, we've got Dot there and Miss Shirley Bow, and they are just enjoying the sun. Um, this afternoon. So we're going to go ahead and take it inside. All right, so we are walking into one of the first spaces. Um, this is the, uh, what we call the veterinary uh, science lab space. Um, so we start here, we've got some cat condos. Um, we've got six cats in the program right now. Um, Lizardella Arguana. <clears throat> we've got two bearded dragons and uh, this is actually a student project. Um, they've created two bioactive uh, tanks for the bearded dragon. So there's isopods um, in there that help naturally decompose the um, the feces, there's plants. Um, we do give them a little food and some water, um, but the idea behind the bioactive tanks is that um, they're self-sustaining. So um, that is that comes straight from the students. So um, red eared slider. If we go back through around the other side, we've got our wall of rabbits here. Um, these guys help the students um, participate in fair. Um, in the summer, so not only animal care throughout the year, um, but it also provides the opportunity for our students to um, participate in in fair in the summer. Um, other side of the lab, so we've got another student project here. Um, this is a saltwater tank. Um, they're growing coral. So right now, um, we've just added some invertebrates to the tank. So we've got a little fire camel shrimp down there, um, another coral banded shrimp in the back. Um, they're helping to figure out the, or keep the tank clean rather, um, and get it back um, stable. So one more student project uh, going on on this side. Um, there, there aren't any betas yet, but this is going to be a sorority uh, beta tank um, once the, the betas come in. So um, that is all student led um, and they are working on that. So. This tank where he's under the oh <laughs> we have a ferret in here <laughs> this is gigantor hey buddy he is um one of the most loved animals here um at the natural science center gigantor there um this is our kennel area where we house um some of our large animals uh, this is the indoor pens for Shirley and Dot. And the landscaping students are also going to work um, with us to create a better habitat inside. Um, remove these kennels and put in some pens for them. So that's another student project. So we have the ducks over here that are quite loud. Um, we, the students do show them. Uh, at fair. So the students are working on um, some new housing options uh, for them to get them out of the kennel area. And then this is Harley, um, one of our pot belly pigs. So just sleeping away. Trying to get a good picture of him. Oops, sorry. You're fine. This next space is the vet classroom. It's um, our largest room that we have. Um, we do average about 30 students in each of our classes. So 
Um, we have 60 juniors and about 54 seniors right now. Um, so Ms. Brown and I work together to teach all of them. Right now, we are uh, looking at Buddy, one of our new um, ball python snakes. So we have added another hurt. snake. See that guy there? Um, we have a few more um, new animals. We have a Pac-Man frog. Um, we have a crested um, gecko. There's two in there. Oh, two, that's right. Yeah, but there's one. That's Newt. Hanging upside down there. So we have a red corn snake as well, Mrs. Smith. We have our tortoises chomping away at supper. And then we have an assortment of leopard geckos and a frog eyed gecko. She's out too, and she is cute. Um, we call her. Um, she's kind of like a dog lizard <laughs> because she is, um, she's interactive, she's, she wags her tail almost like a dog. Kind of hard to see her through this glass, but there she is. Um, we also work with Animal Friends Humane Society and we foster some kittens. Hey guys. They are tuckered out. Um, the students have them out all day. Um, they socialize them. If they need medication, um, they help medicate them, vaccinate them. And so these guys are just tuckered out after a long day of hanging out with the students. Um, we do also have a freshwater tank over here, so some freshwater fish in there, and an axolotl. And he is hanging out over there. Um, we have a guinea pig and some hissing cockroaches in the middle. And then over here we have two chinchillas and um, some rats. There, they're hiding. Okay. So while we're here, um, we thought we'd go over just a few things um, curriculum wise. Um, so this is our um, LMS, which is Learning Management System, we use Schoology. So this is kind of give you an idea of what the students will see. So we have the courses. So our junior courses here, our senior courses here. So in our junior courses, um, we have um, some some information they need, some folders, some workbooks, and then all of um, the curriculum is divided up into units. Um, within those units, we have modules. So each week is a new module, um, and it has the date to kind of help them stay organized. And then within those modules are some folders that kind of help them. So um, we have OSHA assignments. We have some Sinclair assignments. We're working on some Sinclair um, proficiency credit and then some different um, assignments here. Every week they have a self-evaluation that they do um, both on the curriculum, um, animal care, professionalism, and um, some social connections or something social, emotional, metacognition um, to reflect back on, on things that they learned. So that's kind of a week for them. We go back out and look at the seniors Again, everything is divided up into units. We just finished up uh, unit six, your analysis with them. And then in each of the modules, then again, they have uh, different assignments to do, videos, questions. Um, and then again, we finish up with a self-reflection every week that they need to write about.
All right, so we just wanted to run through um, this PowerPoint with you quickly. This is um, a welcome PowerPoint that we show um, during orientations, open house. Um, it's for parents um, and and students. Um, so when they're coming to the program, um, just to learn um, a little about a little bit about what's um, what we offer and how the program runs. So um, in our junior year. Uh, the students go through two courses, animal science and technology, their first semester, and then anatomy and physiology, um, their second semester. So we are just finishing up, or going to be finishing up animal science and technology here soon. So um, we did attach this PowerPoint um, to the email, um, but we just wanted to run through it quickly with you. Um, in their senior year, students um, go through veterinary science first semester, and then second semester, it's a choice between animal health and um, or companion animal selection, nutrition, and management. Um, students do um, participate in FFA um, and career development events. Um, I'll just show you briefly um, some of the banners around the room here um, on this side. Those are just past um, competitions that students have participated in and done quite well. Some pretty cool graphics there. Um, and again, you can read um, all of this. We don't want to take up too much time. Um, you can read through this the PowerPoint. Um, but we did just want to also touch on um, some articulated credit. So um, through our career tech program and um, a couple, uh, UC Blue Ash and Sinclair, um, their students can earn articulated credit. Um, and so at UC Blue Ash, um, there are two. Um, Two ways they waive a 20 hour, um, 20 hours of veterinary related experience, um, and can earn credit in a medical anatomical medical terms, um, saving the students um, in those that college expense. Um, there's also um, they can earn proficiency credit with Sinclair Community College, um, with Vet Tech 1102, um, Introduction to Veterinary Technology. Um, and then VET 1202, Introduction to Veterinary Technology uh, 2. Um, and an additional opportunity with Sinclair, the students can earn a, a $3,000 tech prep scholarship um, for completing the program. Um, some certifications that our students also earn through uh, the two years that they're here with our program, um, an OSHA 10, our general industry agriculture um, certification um, through ICEV. Um, there's an Alanco for their senior year a veterinary medical application certification, and then their junior year there's an Alanco fundamentals of animal science certification, um, along with an IDEX learning center. Um, there are certificates that students can complete um, throughout their their time here. All right, um, and then just an overview of the program, and then just that final slide. Um, we do work hard and we make long lasting um, friendships here. So, all right, do you want to go outside? Yeah, how about or, the, past the horses and then to yeah. the AI lab room? And then all right, home? all right. So this is SpongeBob, he is our pony. He has been here for quite some time, um, about 16 years in fact. So, hey buddy. And then we have Adeline here. She's a, another one of our pot belly pigs, very friendly. The students have been working with her um, on training her, doing some operant conditioning. Can you sit? Good girl. Good and girl. There <laughs> and then this is Sandy. She is our miniature pony who kind of found us. Um, so we rescued her 
a uh, couple years ago. All right, on into the AI lab room. Um, we did get some new flooring in here and new paint. Um, and then cabinetry um, is in the works as well to um, spruce up this area and make it a little more usable for us. So we use this area to do a lot of our hematology, urinalysis. We have our IDEX machine here, all our centrifuges and uh, incubators here as well. And then we're going to head out here. So. Um, we also have a chicken coop here. No chickens yet. But the plan is to um, get some chickens. That's another student project. I believe they want to work with some Americanas. And then um, we just wanted to finish up maybe out here on the rock wall that the landscape students have, have done for us. Um, the mods up there, that is where the students take their academic classes and eat lunch. Um, and those will be leaving June of 2021 and um, construction will begin on a new building in July uh, to be finished in the school year 2022-23 um, is when we would move in to a new building 